It says a lot, doesn't it? And I mean, it says a lot when the Terminator fans site, channel, whatever you want to call them, we get an amazing trailer from the movie Terminator Dark Fate and they go, th stop posting. We get a sulky, sulky note on their page, whinging that oh, we're getting abuse left, right and centre. What do you expect? You're supposed to be the main fan side. That's the position you took. That's the position you have owned, basically. Yeah, you have owned that position. People go to you for the news. But yeah, you chose the side of... Mr. H and people alike like that and then you wonder why you're getting a few inches later day two day three day four it. <clears throat> Yeah, you wonder why you're getting that in the comments Because you've took the side of the people that act like pricks that can't admit when they're wrong You have been witnessed a million times, yeah, thinking you're all this big I am, this, that and the other, oh, blah, 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 we're allowed our opinion. Yeah, I'm allowed my opinion. The people in your comment section are allowed their opinion against your opinion. You delete their opinions. If it goes against what you're saying, you delete them. You delete comments. Yet again, like Mr. H, you will rebuttal back and then block them. You block people. And then you wonder why people are slowly gathering in the masses towards you and saying you're not what you say you are. Whether you like the movie or the trailer or not is irrelevant at this point. Because you've made it into something else where you are a dictatorship, or attempting to be anyway, a, a dictatorship. I'm ashamed to say I used to be a subscriber of yours. I started off, my channel's small, you know what I am, and I know you know, yeah. My channel's small, and I started off going to you to get the nice little tidbits here and there. And then I started to realise, wait a minute, mm, something not right, mm, you know what, and I stopped going to you. And you'll notice, nothing of mine and yours marries up. No video of mine marries up to your video. Yes, you didn't like the first trailer. I didn't like the first trailer. I still pulled the positive. And this isn't me saying that I'm better than, because I'm not. I'm not. What I'm saying is, I can still pull the positives out of it. And the second trailer has come out, and it's like you've gone into crybaby mode, because it's good. More than good. It looks really good. You don't like that John Connor might have been killed off. What do you fucking do, really? Honestly, really? See how it works out in the film. I bet it's executed that good that it makes sense. They've even tried to bring Edward Furlong back. You don't like it when the fans are being pandered to. You don't like it when they're not doing what you want them to do. It's all got to be your way or no way. Every time they have tried to do the let's fucking run after John Connor story, it's bombed. So they're trying something new. They are daring to try something new. It's not woke, it's not trying to blooming pander to any gender or race or anything. It's just following the story that is Sarah Connor had to go into hiding. She's in Mexico. It's just inconvenient that we have the border thing going on. Yet again, it doesn't matter. It's happened 20, 30 years before... Trump even got into power and we are taking the natural progression from that state to that state. It's got to happen. It is going to happen. It's a natural progression unless it, it, it only became woke from that first picture and it wasn't even woke then. I saw the first picture, the first picture and I thought, oh, nice one. They started um, production. Uh, oh, they even started filming of Terminator Dark Fate. 
Not you guys. Nope, you took all the negative comments. It's fucking woke, it's doing a feminazi, it's Ghostbuster, this, that and the other. Channels like you and Mr. H have made this into something it didn't need to be. So, I kind of understand why he ran away sulking. I get it. But if you can't back your mouth up, don't say it. Simple. This is Upside Down 6. Peace out. Okay.